some level, right? So I wrote a contract with myself. If you don't have a contract with yourself, it's a super powerful thing to do. It's a five minute investment. And it's a list of all my non-negotiables. I'm not gonna read it to you, but I wanna give you the last two words of the contract with myself. The last two words of my contract with myself completely changed my life. And those words are, remember tomorrow. When you have a split second decision to make, big or small, remember how that decision is gonna make you feel tomorrow. You wanna drop out of the marathon at mile 18? Cool, until tomorrow. You wanna to come to the big party tonight after man, we're at Elvis's hotel and drink tequila, take your shirt off and be the life of the party? Amazing, until tomorrow. <laughs> you want a great litmus test for making decisions? Want a great, a great test for making split that second good decisions? Remember how that decision is gonna make you feel tomorrow. The second thing along those lines is, how many people in here have a personal mission statement? Nice, not bad, 12. <laughs> What's the first thing every business does in America? They write a mission statement because it gives them permission to say no. It defines what's important to them, right? In my life, I have four buckets. I have my wellness bucket, my business bucket, my family bucket, and other things that are important to me. And if it doesn't fit in one of those four buckets, I'm not doing it, man. Because I'm not in the first chapter of my life anymore. I gotta do things that move the needle and the things that I wanna do. The second thing, when SEAL came into my life, people are like, oh, that's really cool, but I, never have, I would never have enough time for that. Time, time is the number one excuse that everybody uses. It's so lame. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. It's just how do we decide to use them? So I made a very simple pie chart, okay? A third, a third grader could do this. I said there's 24 hours in a day. Here they are. I need to sleep seven of them, okay? You might need six, your pie chart might be different than mine. I take three hours a day for myself. I call it the three hour, the three hour rules, the greatest investment I've ever made. I've been doing it since I'm 21 years old. And I know you said three hours. Oh, you have a team of nannies. And you're, no, I don't. No, I don't. I have the same responsibilities everybody here has, man. 40 hours a week with my kids. Full time. All right? But I don't want to resent my wife, my boss, my kids for taking away the things that I love to do. So those three hours are cumulative. I might be a run in the morning, sit on the couch, read, whatever. But when I'm in my time, I'm not guilty that I'm not with my wife or not at work or not with my kids. And then when I'm at work, I'm much better on where my feet are because I've already done the things that are important to me, right? If you can't take 10% of your day for yourself, your life model is broken, period. Number three. I'm a big believer in bucket lists. This is a bucket list. I'm in Vegas talking to you guys. This is amazing. But I'm a much bigger believer in dropping the B in bucket and adding an F. <laughs> Creating a bucket list. And those are the things that you always wanted to do, but it wasn't the right time. You didn't have enough experience. Or you were scared because that wall was there. But those are the things that require preparation, hard work, research, maybe failure. But those are the things that make you feel most alive. Those are the things, and as an adult, it's really hard, man, to create newness. You gotta work on it to create newness. There's an old Japanese ritual called the Misogi. And the notion around the Misogi is you do one thing so hard, one time a year, that the benefit lasts the entire other 364 days of the year. As we slide into 2019, What's the one thing that you guys are gonna do that's gonna define 2019? Like if everything else didn't work, how are you gonna remember 2019? Don't just flip the calendars. How are you gonna do it? So I have a famous quote. I wanna leave you guys with two things and we'll do some questions and answers. I have a famous quote that I look at every single day. It's on my wall when I wake up, you can't miss it. And that quote is, I didn't come this far to only come this far. Nobody in this room came this far to only come this far. You wouldn't be here if that was the case. The average American lives to be 78 years old. I just turned 50. That means if I'm average, I got 27 summers left. And man, I love summers. And I can't do in my 70s or maybe my 80s the stuff that I love to do now. I just climbed 
the summit of Mount Washington. There were no 70 year olds when I got to the summit. That window to do stuff shrinks. The one thing I would say to everybody here, no matter what it is that you want to do in 2019, no matter what your goals are in business, no matter what your family goals are, start the process. I don't care if you have it figured out. Get your foot in the door and figure it out as you go, but start the process. Because if you don't, someone else is going to beat you to it. And if you don't, you're going to wake up in routine. And you're going to be 78. And you're going to be like, man, I wish I did it then. True. But you know that's what the movie looks like. So put something big on your calendar, man. We didn't come this far to only come this far. Thank you. Yeah.